everybody, John Ocker with Jamplay.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about a device George Harrison used in a lot of blues style songs the Beatles played called Double Stops. This is a Chuck Berry oriented style. Early on, he was very influenced by Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry was one of his favorite guitar players. So basically, he used a lot of minor pentatonic scales, but played them in pairs of strings, two notes at a time. And so what we see is, the most common one, is he's sliding up into the root of the key. So for our example, I'm in the key of A, basically just playing a 12-bar blues in A. And I'm going to slide up into the A on the first string and the E on the second string. So primarily what you can do is play four bars of steady eighth notes on that, on that pair of notes. This kind of comes from the A minor pentatonic shape. You could also think it's, it revolves around the A triad shape on the top four strings. You might know it as the F chord shape there. So that's where it's coming from. That's kind of where they're playing out of. We might find that George plays with a lot of chord shapes like that, also doing sticking around one scale shape there. So some subtleties you can add to it to maybe vary it a little bit would be to mess with where you do that slide and how you do that accent. You could do it on beat one of every measure. You kind of mess around with it and maybe do it on beat one and three. If you wanted to add momentum, like build it through the first four bars of a blues, you could basically play beat one. And speed it up a little bit. Accent, beat one, and then beat three. And then you could accent every beat if you wanted to. So every pair of eighth notes you could start to accent. Another interesting way to play it is to break it up into groups of threes and twos. So you could play one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And you can mess around with that. Do different patterns of your threes and twos. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so that's ten beats. I would need six more to make two full bars. So I could just do two pairs of three if I wanted to. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I'm right on beat one of whatever measure I'm playing in a blues next. So that if I was on the four chord there, you know, I could do a four chord idea. So another element to the double stops is using the minor pentatonic scale shape. George did this a lot. It's kind of a floppy fingered approach, but basically I'm just playing through a scale but hitting pairs of notes and playing with flat fingers. So then another approach would be to take a finger pattern. We could take pinky, ring, finger, index. Play that on the first two strings. Move that directly to the second and third string. Then we could do it again on the third and fourth strings. Another thing you might have seen me do on the introduction video will be playing consecutive eighth notes again, but with a different chord shape. This would be an A7 chord shape. So I'm playing fifth, the seventh, and third of the chord. Kind of like a D7 chord shape if you know your open D7 chord. I'm just transposing that to the key of A. So that works really well over a fast style blues or a rock blues. Songs like Long Tall Sally, I'm Down, Roll Over Beethoven, uh, Sar Standing There could even work, you know, a song like that. So fast, up-tempo blues numbers. And again, you can do the same thing by sliding in, accenting different beats, grouping them into twos and threes again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. 
So that's kind of an interesting way to develop it a little bit, give some variation in there so you can kind of make it your own. So another thing you can do with those double stop ideas is to do them with bends. So what I'm going to do here is show you a little lick starting on the fourth string. So I play two notes there, one, two, and then here I do the bend, one, two, three, and four. In tempo, it would sound like this, one, two. So I'm just hitting that second and third string double stop, and then second and third string double stop on the seventh fret. bending that up. One, two, three, and four. So that'd be a good lick to use, maybe over a four chord, because it's kind of outlining a four chord there, starting on the D and F sharp, which would fit a D7 chord in our 12 bar blues. Okay, well that pretty much wraps it up for the use of double stop licks in the Chuck Berry style. So let's go ahead and play along with the track start to explore and play around with those double stop ideas. And then in the next lesson, we'll start to talk about more of the melodic style that was influenced by Chuck Berry.